today you will be able to find the median, the mode, and the range of any data set. And this is in unit 3, and the unit goal goes here. And this is chapter 3 and 3.3, .3, median, mode, and range. The first thing you need to understand the word mean. Mean is the same as the word average. So whether they refer to the word mean or whether they refer to the word average, they mean the same. And to find the mean, all you have to do is add all the numbers that they are given and then count how many numbers are given to you and divide by the number of numbers that are given. So the steps involved in finding the mean will be add, count, divide. Now to find the median, you need to put the numbers in order from least to greatest. Go ahead and make sure that you guys are writing this. Put the numbers from least to greatest and pick the middle number. The only tricky situation in this case will be if there are two middle numbers, then all you have to do is find the average of the two middle numbers. And to find the average, remember you need to add both the numbers and divide them by two since there are two numbers that you counted. Now, the third vocabulary word in this case is mode. Mode is the number that occurs the most. So whichever number that you see repeating the most often in a data set, that will be the mode. Sometimes in a data set, you will find there is no mode because no number repeats. Sometimes in a data set, you will find multiple numbers having the same mode. Now coming to the last one, which is the range. The range is when you take your highest number or your largest number and subtract from the smallest number or the lowest number, and that'll give you the range. So the step involved in finding the range will be take your biggest number and take your smallest number and do the subtraction. So the graph below shows the race time for several students. Pause the video, make sure that you are understanding, and then read the question, and then let's continue. So a table is given to you. So the student names are given to you. That is Catherine, Andrew, Laura, Brad, Julie, and Jonathan and the race time in seconds are given to for each student. There is one, two, three, four, five, six students. The question is asking you what is the median race time for this group of students. To find the median, remember, step number one, you need to put them in order from least to greatest. So let's put them in order from least to greatest, starting from the lowest number. So if you look at the least number, in this case, it is going to be 32.6. So this is done. The next number is going to be 33.8. That is done. The next number is going to be 42.9. And the next biggest number will be 50.8. The next biggest number is 67.6. .6. And the last number is 128.6. If you are confused about the decimal point, all you have to do is cover up the decimal point with your finger and just read it as 32, 33, 42, 50, 67, 128, and that will probably get you the correct step. So now you put the order and the numbers in order from least to greatest. Now you need to find the middle number. So watch the way that I'm going to do it. I'm going to cross the first number with the last number. I'm going to cross the second number with the second last number. And now I'm trying to find the middle number. Remember the word median is actually the middle. So if you're looking at the middle number, you got two numbers that you need to pick the middle from. Now, if you have two middle numbers, then all you have to do is find the average of the two middle numbers. To find the average, which basically means you need to do your add, count, divide. So I am going to erase everything except for these two middle numbers. So now I'm going to add both the numbers. So that comes to 42.9 and 50.8. Remember, when you add or subtract, your decimal point should line up. So 9 plus 8 is 17. One carryover. 
2 plus 1 is 3, 5 plus 4 is 9. So the first step, addition is done. Now comes the second step of counting. I'm counting two numbers. So counting two numbers. So the last step is divide. I take the 93.7 and I divide it by 2. So let's do the division together. 2 goes into in 9 four times. 8. Remainder 1. Bring the 3. 2 goes into 13. 6 times. 12. 1. Now remember the decimal point. It needs to go straight up. Do not forget that. Now bring the 7. And 2 goes into 17. 8 times. 8 times 2 is 16. 1. Now all you have to do is add one more 0 inside the shelter. Bring the 0 down. And 2 goes into 10. 5 times. So the median in this case will be 46.85 seconds. Make sure that you are writing all of this in your notebook and also make sure that you have written the date, the title 3.3 and median modern range as a heading. Now let's focus on this question. Pause the video, read the question and then let's begin. Rosalie measures the temperature for eight days in a row. The temperatures are shown below. Here are the temperatures. Find the median, the mode, and the range. So let's focus on the first one, finding the median. Remember, to find the median, you need to put the numbers in order from least to greatest. So the first objective for us is to find the median. So we need to put the numbers in order from least to greatest. So let's pick the smallest number first. And in this case, I think it is 60. Two. The second number that I'm picking is this 62. So this is done. This is done. Now focusing on the next number, which is 66. And the next number being 68. So 66 is done. 68 is done. Now I only have these numbers left. So the next number in this case is going to be 70. Then comes 71. So 70 is done. 71 is done. Next comes 72. And the last number is 75. So I have included these numbers too. So the one strategy that I'm going to tell you is after you are done putting each number in a in order, make sure that you put a check mark to make sure that you do not forget anything. So now these are the numbers in order from least to greatest. Now to find the median, remember, I need to start crossing them off after you put them in order. So I'm going to start crossing with the smallest to the biggest, and I keep going down the line. And once again, I am ending with two middle numbers. If there is only one middle number, that will be the answer for the median. But since I end up in two middle number of 68 and 70, and now I need to do the add, count, divide, because I need to find the average of these two numbers. So I'm going to add these two numbers to be 68 plus 70, 8, 6 plus 6 is 12, so 13, 138, and I'm counting two numbers. So I take my 138 and I divide it by 2, which is the last step. So 2 cannot go in a 1, 2 can go in a 13, 6 times, gives you a 12. 1 is the remainder, bring the 8. 2 goes into 18, 9 times, which is a perfect match. So 69 is the answer for the median. Make sure that you are writing all the calculations down in your notebook and understand. So the median is done. Now let's focus on the second question, which is mode. Now, if you remember the notes which I gave you, mode is the number that repeats the most often. So let's look at which number is repeating the most often. I see 62 once, twice, and I do not see any other number repeating again. So 62 is the number that repeats the most often, which is the mode. Now, coming to the last part, which is the range. Now, the range is when you take your highest number or the biggest number, which in this case is 75, 
and you take your smallest number, which is the lowest number, in this case is 62, and you subtract. So 5 minus 2 is 3, 7 minus 6 is 1, so the range is 13. Even if you do not put them in order, you still got to pick the biggest number, 75, and the smallest number, 62, and do a subtraction to find the range. Now focus on Jenna's score. Pause the video, read the question, and understand, and then begin. Jenna's score on a math test have been these. What is the range of Jenna's score? The question is asking you to find the range. Remember, to find the range, you need to take your biggest number. So I'm going to highlight the biggest number in yellow. So the biggest number in this case is 100. And to find the range, you also need the smallest number. The smallest number I'm going to highlight in green. The smallest number in this case is 72. And students will ask, Ms. Neil, there are two 72s. All you need to do is focus on the smallest number, which means you can either take this 72 what this 72 it does not matter so take the biggest number which is 100 take the smallest number which is 72 and subtract to find the range that is all you need to do so I cannot take it take a 2 from a 0 so I'm gonna borrow so this I'm gonna take it as a 10 10 changes to a 9 by giving away the 1 10 minus 2 is 8 9 minus 7 is 2 the answer is 28 for the range Pause the video, read the question, understand the question. Let's begin. Gretchen's soccer team won five games in a row. The number of goals scored were this. What was the median number of goals scored? So let's focus on these numbers by highlighting them. If you have a pencil, make sure that you are underlining in your handout. So five, two, four, three, and two. The question is asking you the median. Remember, if you want to find the median, you have to put these numbers in order first. So I'm going to put the 2, which is the smallest number. Then I'm going to put the second 2, which is also the smallest number. Then I'm going to list the 3, which is here. The next number is going to be a 4. And the last number is going to be a 5. So these are the numbers in order from least to greatest. Now to find the median number, remember, you need to start crossing up. So cancel this with this, cancel this with this. And now you only have one number, which is a 3 which is perfect. So the median in this case is going to be just a 3. So the answer in this case will be G.